Hey guys, my name is Boris. I'm a physician assistant. Today is day seven of our pants study series where I pick a random note card from the large stack of note cards I personally use to study for the pants. Today's note card, today's question is going to be A1C, hemoglobin A1C values for prediabetes, diabetes, and the A1C goal of treatment. All right, so I'm gonna give you guys a couple of seconds to think of the answer the A1C values for prediabetes, diabetes, and then the goal of treatment, where you want the A1C to be for a diabetic that is being treated with medications and lifestyle management for diabetes, where do you want their A1C to fall? Give you a few seconds to think of an answer. Okay. So, Pre-diabetes, hemoglobin A1C is anything over 5.5%. Diabetes is going to be anything over 6.5%. Goal of treatment is usually, every provider is different, but usually people like to keep the A1C between 6.5 and 7. Now, quick explanation of that. Why would you not want to keep it lower? Isn't the lower the better? Kind of. But for somebody who is treated for diabetes, particularly with insulin, somebody who is treated for diabetes, you don't want their A1C to go too low because hypoglycemia is actually immediately way more dangerous, way more life-threatening than hyperglycemia, you know, within reason. Obviously, diabetic ketoacidosis is life-threatening, uh, but most people are not going into that. However, it's pretty easy to put somebody into hypoglycemia with certain medications, particularly with insulin. So... Again, the cutoff for prediabetes is anybody with a hemoglobin A1C over 5.5%. Diagnosing diabetes is somebody with A1C over 6.5%. And the goal for treatment, if you're treating somebody with diabetes, the goal is going to be to keep them around 6.5 to 7%. Also, one little bonus fact, diabetes requiring insulin is somebody with an A1C of... 9%. So you test somebody's A1C, you diagnose them with diabetes, it's already over 9, they're probably going to be requiring insulin, not just metformin and some of the more, uh, more gentle treatments. If they're over 9%, it's usually time for insulin. Okay, so just one more time, prediabetes, anything over 5.5%, diabetes, anything over 6.5%, goals of treatment, usually between 6.5 and 7%, and then diabetes requiring insulin, for management is going to be over 9%. See you guys in the next video.